All right, what's going on, everybody? I'm Blitz5, and I hope you guys are doing well. And check it out. We are dropping back into Paramo with Season 11. This map is back, while Haven and Karkin have been removed for this season. And in this video, I want to talk about the lackluster launch of Season 11 and sort of the disappointment surrounding it and the confusion. But I don't want to make this just a negative video, so we're going to be talking about some positive stuff as well and letting you guys know some information about the next update and what's going on with the Survivor Pass. So if you're interested in that stuff, please stick around for this video. If not, hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one or in the stream. Uh, but right now, I just wanted to have a casual conversation, record some audio. I haven't been doing this as much lately, so I want to get back into the swing of things. It's always a little weird recording videos again when you haven't done it in a while. And there's a lot to talk about with PUBG, kind of like a mini state of the game. This is sort of a checkup with what's going on with Season 11. And some of the information here, I find, um, I don't really know a great word for it, but it's frustrating that I feel like I scour the internet for PUBG data, information, update news, and uh, I have so many people where I get notifications when they tweet or are on social media. And if I didn't do all that, I really wouldn't have this information. So I know the average gamer that plays PUBG, if you're just logging on casually at night, you probably don't know this information or maybe a little confused with what's going on. And I know, I know that to be at least a little bit true because so many people in the stream are coming in wondering what's going on. They're frustrated with the game. They're disappointed. They think things are a little stale. And I've also seen that same sentiment all over social media. So we're going to try to talk about that and answer all those questions. Uh, so first, let's give a little background right now. So we are coming off the longest season ever in PUBG. New year, every year, you're kind of expecting more stuff for PUBG. We have season 10 launched with Haven. That was really great. I personally love that map. Not everybody did. And then we had, unfortunately, the longest season ever. And after Haven, uh, there wasn't too much stuff, in my opinion. There's nothing that really strikes me. Uh, nothing that I can remember. It's nothing that stands out. I'm sure there's some great features that were added, but really, I can't remember anything. I just remember season 10 uh, being for Haven. A lot of people saying that season 10 was a filler season. So when season 11 was on the horizon, a lot of people, including myself, were hoping that season 11 would include maybe the Miramar remaster or a new map, because both of those things have been talked about for 2021 PUBG said that they were going to do a new map and the Miramar remaster. So that's what I thought. And then we have the patch notes released and there's none of that content, no major content, no survivor pass. Really the only new thing we're getting is the emergency balloon, the Fulton balloon and, you know, quality of life changes, which are great. And the game is playing super well. Uh, so when I see a lot of this frustration online, it's kind of funny. A lot of people aren't trashing the game. They're like, dude, PUBG's playing great. I just am taking a break because there's not much going on with the game. And maybe that's not so bad for one month. Maybe it's not the end of the world. Uh, but I know a lot of people are confused. So again, I kind of want to explain all this stuff and, and kind of what's going on. So with season 11, uh, they have shortened the season as well. So now the seasons are going to be two months instead of three months. PUBG was running off a quarterly system. So four, four quarters, three months. And every time there would be a survivor pass. And really since the beginning of the seasons, there has been survivor pass. So for the first 10 seasons, each one launched with a survivor pass. And really, I wouldn't know this information if I hadn't tweeted at Alex the PUBG Dev, which is a Twitter account within PUBG that used to tweet a lot of internal stuff and sort of leaking information from PUBG. We hadn't heard from them in months. So I tweeted at them saying, what's going on? We haven't heard from you guys, any information. And then after I did that, they responded to me and then started answering a lot of questions on Twitter, giving out information. And from that came the information that going forward in PUBG, that we shouldn't expect the major content to be dropped at the beginning of a season and that the major content can come at any time. So 11.2, 12.2, maybe, I don't know if they're going to be doing 0.3s anymore or 0.4s. Who knows what the schedule is going to be like, uh, but that's not going to be tied to the season and the seasons now are only for ranked. So check this out. I kind of went ahead, assuming that every season now is going to be two months, like they said, this is what it's going to look like on screen. So we're going to see a season. This one's going to go from April 1st to May 31st, then from June 1st to July 31st. And I think that's really great for ranked because the rank season is just way too long. We'll keep people interested with the rewards and all that stuff, which is really cool. Um, but they hadn't really explained that too much. They did a little bit in the patch notes, but I don't think a lot of people understood that's what's going on. That is what's going on. And that the survivor pass will no longer coincide with the seasons. So the survivor pass can come at any time and also end at any time, which I guess gives PUBG more flexibility with what they're doing. Um, but they never said what's going on with survivor pass or where did it go? And then at some point we saw a tweet from Hawkins saying that the survivor pass is coming out with update 11.2. And because the seasons are so short, 
Uh, and someone else might have mentioned it somewhere that this next update should be coming in the next few weeks. It's always kind of confusing because sometimes they do the PTS on PC, so it's early, then the PC update, then the console update. So really, I'm just going to say in the next few weeks, we should be seeing the new content and uh, hopefully it will be great. It could just be another kind of small update or again, maybe me just being optimistic. I'm still hoping that maybe the Miramar remaster uh, they were trying to time that with the next survivor pass. Maybe they still needed some time to work on it, or maybe this has been part of the schedule all along. Uh, but I'm hoping that the survivor pass will launch with something big. Usually the survivor pass has a theme like that, right? Like the new update or the new map, if they have one. Uh, so that's what I'm hoping for. Maybe it's being a little naive, um, and I'm still hoping for some big content to freshen up the game. And this is a big year for PUBG because they're IPO and keep talking about it in so many videos. Uh, but it seems like maybe they're getting stuff set up for that to have a really consistent schedule for PC and console. Uh, on the other side, we found out recently, uh, if you haven't seen my video, I'll drop it above, uh, that PC and console really only make up a very small portion of PUBG's profits. So obviously a lot of their focus is going to be on mobile and new state. Uh, but really, this is the most quiet I've ever heard PUBG. And I keep saying this for the past couple of months. So I really feel like uh, big stuff is coming. We haven't seen any big leaks at all, which is kind of crazy. Player IGN, who's normally leaking a ton of content, hasn't had any leaks for Survivor Pass or really anything that I know of that's coming, like the new maps. Um, so, I, you know, it's hard to say. Is PUBG really just kind of uh, slowing their updates down? Or are they hiding a lot of stuff? These are still questions that I think we're trying to figure out. But uh, hopefully this kind of paints a picture for you guys that that's what's going on. The season structure now has changed. Survivor Pass structure has changed. There is one coming. PUBG is still working on all these things and hopefully even more exciting things. Um, but again, we do have the the new balloon and Paramo to play on right now to keep us a little busy. Um, but like I always say, you kind of need a carrot on the end of the stick to play, to do anything in life. Life's all about kind of incentives. And when you first start playing PUBG, the incentive is to get the winner, winner, chicken dinner. And then once they added in Survivor Passes and missions, that's a great... Uh, I mean, that's part of so many games, logging in, doing your dailies, your weeklies, chasing the challenges, being a completionist. And then for some people, if you play ranked, that might be your carrot on the stick is ranking up. Uh, but when you play casuals, I've seen a lot of people in the chat saying, you know, why play casuals when there's no survivor pass? Or maybe it's a good time to take a break and play other games. And unfortunately, I forget if I mentioned this in the video already, but this is probably, uh, I don't want to say the most, but. I've seen so many people say that they're taking a break, they're playing other games, DayZ, Escape from Tarkov, because of this lackluster update. So I don't know, again, what the strategy was behind this, uh, but it seems like you know people are disappointed with that. And it's a bummer to see people disappointed with PUBG because I enjoy the game so much, I'm partnered with them, I stream it every day. And you can kind of just tell, and even me popping into other PUBG streamers, that people are just you know, waiting for the next thing. And uh, a lot of people thought that was coming with Season 11. Uh, so I don't want to keep you know, rambling on about this or keep hitting the nail with the hammer here just over and over. Um, but just want to discuss this with you guys. And yeah, other than that, I want to hear what you guys think about it. I'm sure I'll see a lot of the similar kind of themes down in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think of Paramo. I really enjoyed playing this map. And again, I don't want to just be constantly critical, uh, but I feel like the mid game is super, super slow. I probably cut out a bunch of the mid game here as I'm watching it because nothing was happening. I've uh, been seeing the same feedback. There's just maybe not enough players or the circle is a little bit too slow. Also, circle seems to be center often, taking up a lot of the map. So when you're when you're in the circle, you're just sort of there. You don't have to do much. Uh, but again, overall, that's just nitpicking. That's not like bothering me or anything like that. Um, but just things that could maybe be improved going forward. So I'd love to hear your feedback about Season 11. Paramo, what's going on? Did you take a break? Hopefully you guys are coming back. If so... And hopefully, hopefully there will be a really exciting update coming soon and uh, we can make a ton, ton of content and also enjoy playing it on stream. So as always, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate you guys taking the time. I'll catch you guys later on Blitz 5 and peace out.